Oh my gosh, I'm Skyping you because guess what? We've got Michael Jones on the show today. Oh. Actually, I'm interviewing him, Marty. Ah, sick here, Corinne. He's so gorgeous. He's my flavor. Auntie, he's more than just eye candy. He's an all black legend. Sick here, Michael. You know he's Sam's dad, girl. <laughs> Sam, can I borrow some money? Mum, uh, what's happening? I think there's no reception. <laughs> oh my gosh. Michael Jones, he's so much more than eye candy to our aunties. Yeah. Michael Jones is my sister's husband's cousin. A mayor role figure that um, I look up to. Yes, uh, he's an amazing rugby player and an amazing guy off the field as well. Michael Jones is like the coolest man in the world. He plays rugby everywhere. He thinks about the Māori and Pacific Islanders, especially these kids. So, um, yeah, he's a really awesome man. Michael Jones shake my hand and I think it was real good and I'm never going to wash it. New Zealand, meet Michael Jones, personal hero of mine and legend to a whole generation of people, my little lover. Hello, good <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Can you tell us whereabouts we are today? So we're right in the heart of West Auckland and Kelston. So this is my, uh, my hometown, this is where I was born and bred. And, uh, you know, this is um, our far now, this is our community. Yeah. Yeah. And what's actually happening with the... You can see a whole heap of noise and a whole heap of kids back here. Yeah, we've got a, a trust, just uh, like-hearted and like-minded community leaders, guys like Inga are involved. It's based on the, the, uh, the kaupapa or the uh, belief that it takes a village to raise a child. So uh, I'm a product of a village. I, I grew up without a father. I was brought up by my mum, my aunties and uncles, my neighbours. So it was a community that raised me. So that's the same heart here as we've got to put a village around some of these young uh, Kiwi, young New Zealanders, young rangatahi. Some of them come from pretty hard homes. We just want to bring them in and um, value them and, uh, and empower them. Um, so, you know, even if we can do that for five hours or six hours on a Friday night, it's worth it. It's a really simple template. I mean, it's really just, um, you know, music, uh, table tennis, basketball, and food. We've got to have the kai. And this village trust, this came from you? I realised very early on as a, I suppose as a All Black, as a New Zealand uh, representative, that I was very privileged. I made the All Blacks when I was 22, and then I uh, retired uh, when I was 33, so I played sort of 12 seasons uh, for the All Blacks. And um, for me, the greatest thing that being an All Black has given me is the um, platform to still work with uh, people and young people. Now, Michael, we've got a couple of quick fire questions for you that have come through from our audience. Okay. Okay, so be ready. Hey, all blacks or money Samoa? Gotta say all blacks and I <gasps> <No. laughs> Jeez, that was a hard one, man. Jeez, I'm gonna get half my family killing me for that one. Okay, Polo or Savai? I've gotta stay true to Polo because that's where Motaa is and that's my village. <laughs> Jandals or rugby boots? Jandals. Ice cream or ice packs? Ice packs. <laughs> they helped me through my career. Tupac or Biggie? On which side? <laughs> Tupac. I knew you was going to say Tupac. I knew it. <laughs> OK, Michael Jackson or Michael Jordan? Michael Jordan. What would you say your mum would be most proud of you for? Putting God first in your life. That would be her motto in life. Yeah. Always put God first in your life, son. <laughs> <laughs> and we can see you have. And do you see yourself in these kids? You know, we were just snotting those little seven, eight, nine year olds, just like these fellas, and <laughs> we're just looking for, you know, just, uh, I suppose, love and attention and just a sense of value. Now, people see you as almost perfect, angelic. Did you have any naughty years? You should ask my wife <laughs> that question. I think she'll have uh, another description. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of teenagers growing up in Auckland and in Aotearoa, New Zealand, you know, you go through phases and you go through seasons. There was a period of my life where I was, I think I was, I sort of rebelled a bit, to be honest. I knew that if I, you know, if I got into, you know, alcohol, um, any, you know, even drugs, I, you know, anything like that, I, I knew that that would potentially slow down, you know, hijack my, my journey to being the best I could be. What would your main message be, not only to these kids here, but to anyone else out there who sees you as a role model like we all do? You know, I really encourage a lot of our young people to aim high. I was always taught very young, you know, if you aim for the moon, 
even if you don't get there, <laughs> you're still going to be up there in the stars. But even if you don't ever become an All Black or a Silver Fern or a Kiwi or a Warrior, be in a much better place than if you just cruise through life settling for second best. Well, I can definitely see that you have your heart in everything you do. The same way you played on that rugby <laughs> field and the same way you're giving and sharing your love with these kids. So. Thank you for being with us today. Love say I love you it. Know what, uh, the saying is it's better to give than to receive, eh? Yeah, yeah. On the rugby field as well. Fast with what? Too much. <laughs> Our Facebook page has been pumping hard out thanks to you guys. And if you're still not a friend, don't be a loner. Add yourselves. Here's some feedback on the man himself, Mr. Michael Jones. <laughs> Martin La Mikola'a said Michael Jones was one of the first Pacific Islanders I saw playing rugby. He made me want to be an All Black. Data Darion says he was more than a rugby star to us, he was someone who stood up for our morals. And Father said, I know one thing about Michael, he's a family man. Their sister has a beautiful voice, a family of many talents. Now stick around, because coming up after the break, the other Michael checks out tanks and a queen is in the fallet. Queen Shirley, that is. So, See you then. See you soon.